give people the first impression that I am a happy and optimistic person. My parents and my best friend know better. In the past, they, um, they might say I can be quite emotional, frustrated, or even grumpy sometimes. And in addition, my biggest pet peeves is when people say, You're so tall, that's awesome, but you should be stronger. Doesn't your mom feed you? Come on, of course my mom feeds you. That, that kind of thing really damaged my self-esteem. So I started to go to the gym. You might not be able to tell, but since October last year, I bulked up from a measly 57 kilos to my current weight of 76. Today, I'll share my bodybuilding journey and how it's completely changed my outlook on life. There are so many misunderstandings about how to gain or lose weight. A lot of articles on the internet are just misleading clickbait. They will show some very simple exercises and guarantee results. Or perhaps they will just make you buy the products to make money. So, if a beginner wants to learn stuff online, it's easy, it's easy for them to go astray. The most effective way to get started on the road of bodybuilding is to find a coach. I believe in professionals. But after you get to the basics, the rest is up to you. Persistence is key. It's easy to find excuses. Some tell themselves they'll go tomorrow, but it's always not a tomorrow. Um, it's probably because many of us are picking the right activities. Deep squat can be a great way to train our legs, but only consistency week in and week out. If you hit that day, <laughs> no one will always get it. Secondly, Without proper nutrition, you may never realize the gains you're looking for. Your trainer can't check out every meal you have, so you should take care of it yourself. Muscles need enough carbohydrates and protein to recover from training. My problem was under eating, so now I make sure to have a big protein filled snack before bed. I make sure to keep my favorite <coughs> foods around the house and never let, let me have an empty stomach. Besides, nutrition studies also shows that at least 8 hours of sleep is necessary to maximize muscle growth. Okay, so here's come the theoretical part, creating a positive feedback loop. Um, we, um, when we track our progress and start meeting goals, um, it further motivates us. We work hard and persevere to our next goal, which creates a snowball effect. Um, I've personally experienced this over this year. Some might think working out is a waste of time. Maybe they just don't understand the benefits. Well, I'll say it'll make a huge impact on anyone if you give it a try. It helps people to become more self-confident. Me, I used to have a hunchback and I was really bad at speaking. Now, my back is straight and I'm standing in front of you guys today. I've become more even-tempered and made many new friends with my new outlook on life. Some wise person once said, health is wealth, and I truly believe that. <coughs> Adopting a healthier lifestyle could be the most cost-efficient investment in our lifetime. And we need to invest in ourselves if we want to succeed in life. I mean, who doesn't want to be successful? Thank you. <laughs>